Hello, hello beauties. Kylie here. I'm just uh, coming at you with three quick tips for uh, grounding yourself. So it's Wednesday. So it's Wellness Wednesday. Hi Marlene. How are you doing? Uh, so three quick tips. Three ways that you can ground yourself. So when we look at yoga, the yoga perspective, most people practice yoga in the physical realm, in the asana, the physical shapes that we make on our mat. And so a great way that you can simply ground yourself in a pose is feel and bring your attention to what is making contact with the earth. So if you're in a seated pose, really feel your sit bones ground down into the earth. You're bringing your attention here. Um, if you're with me, say hello. If you feel like sharing, if you've got a tip, pop it in the comments. We're sharing three grounding tips today for our Wednesday wellness. So in a yoga pose, if your feet are on the ground, really feel your feet. Feel the balls of your feet, the big toe man, little toe man, and heel. Ground and connect. If you could uh, visualize the way an elephant walks and they put their foot down and their foot kind of spreads across the earth and they're really sturdy and stable to hold up their big beautiful bodies. If we think about that in the concept of really grounding through the foot first, feeling the foot spread across the earth and then we build our foundation, we build the shape from that place. If you've got all four points connecting the earth, hands and feet are on the earth. Feel that same connection through the hands. You might like to start with a bit of a plugging action of the fingers and then ground down through the hands, connect the whole ring of your palm down into the earth and then push away if you're in a down dog or if you're in a, an inversion, uh, even all fours position and then lift up out of that shape. So that grounding sensation, it really connects us to the earth. Okay, it helps keep us stable. It helps us build a strong foundation, especially when we're looking at, you know, moving through our asana practice on our yoga mat. And if another way we can help ground ourselves is with our breath. So if we get, especially if we're in a yoga practice or if we're just in our daily lives, so I'm a mum of a two and a half year old and a three and a half year old. Uh, and if you're a mama, <laughs> um, I see you, I feel you, right? Or, or a dada up at home uh, doing your thing with your children. It can be easy to get overwhelmed or caught up in the emotion of a moment, especially if you're dealing with emotional toddlers or teenagers or whatever the picture might look like. So if you notice yourself, the more you notice yourself catching into those moments or getting swept up in those moments, a way to ground yourself is to simply connect to the earth in the moment and imagine you are drawing your deep breath all the way down to what is touching the earth. So breathing beyond your lungs, grounding into your feet, feel that connection, that reminder, that stability, that support of the earth beneath you. In through the nose and out through the nose with that big deep breath if you can. So three deep breaths in the moment can ground us instantly. It can change how our nervous system responds in the moment and just bring us back out of that, that fight or flight state of overwhelm sometimes, that nervous system response, and just take a step back out of overwhelm. So big deep breaths. Another way we can ground ourselves in life in general is getting outside. Feel your feet on the ground. Maybe it's even sticking your toes in the mud or the sand or depending on where you live, feeling earth beneath you. If you're in lockdown somewhere that's stuck in a house or in an apartment or something like that, uh, if you can get outside, and feel a tree. So if you can't feel natural earth or soil beneath your, your feet, you might be able to connect and literally just touch a tree, be near nature, be near a plant. 
uh, or you can visualize if you're literally stuck inside and you cannot access nature outside. So you can sit on the ground, ground through your sit bones, center into your breath and picture yourself, visualize yourself, do a little visualization meditation that you're walking in a park or you're in a forest or you're walking up a mountain, you're in nature. Obviously, if you can get out in nature, that is uh, the best remedy because instantly nature helps us reset and reground. If you have an overwhelming energetic experience, maybe it's at work, maybe it's with another person, uh, maybe it's in the ebbs and flows of what's going on in the world today, feeling your feet on the ground outside reconnecting to our, our roots of mother nature can give us an instant grounding sensation. How does grounding help us? It supports our nervous system, helps us step away from stress and hyperactive mind and overwhelm and the more intense end of the spectrum of experience to calming, soothing, clarifying, resetting, reconnecting. So three easy tips in your yoga practice. Ground through whatever is connecting to the floor, your feet, your hands, your sit bones, really important. And then build your pose from the ground up there. Your breath, you can do this in your chair, in your desk, in your car, on your yoga mat, anywhere in life. Your breath is always there to support you. Three deep breaths in through the nose, out through the nose, right down into the belly. Feel the earth. Send your breath all the way down. Bring it back up again. And then number three, get outside. If you can, walk in nature. If you can't, maybe close your eyes for a few minutes and visualize yourself there and connect to that energy of nature. Also, still grounding into whatever your feet are touching or your sit bones. It's still an action and an intention of grounding. Okay, lovelies, thank you so much. If you've got more to share, please pop them in the comments or if you've got any questions. And I will see you soon. Mwah. Happy grounding. Take care.